Tonight, transportation workers, including pilots and flight attendants, are continuing to press our lawmakers to pass a bill they say could prevent another catastrophe, like the two Boeing 737 MAX crashes, which killed a total of uh, 346 people. Now, mind you, they did not happen here in the United States. Nonetheless, people died. Joining us now, Jamie Finch, who's a former uh, NTSB director to uh, fill us, uh, kind of bring us up to date. We haven't talked for a while about what's going right. on with this situation, but let's start right. with this. It seems to me uh, workers at the airlines, pilots, flight attendants, right. uh, you know, uh, maintenance guys, right. are, are arguing, we want you guys in Congress to do better oversight of the administration of these companies. Why are they saying that? Well, they say, well, there's some evidence from this last crash, the, the, one of the two MAX crashes, the Lion Air crash in particular, that accident report has come out, and it said that there were some uh, there were maintenance failures on the part of Lion Air hmm. uh, in maintaining that plane. And so there, there, there needs to be a, a, a universal and, and across the board standard of safety uh, at, at these facilities where they're maintain, doing, ma performing maintenance on mm -hmm. these, uh, these aircraft, and they need to be, make sure that they're meeting U.S. standards. I don't want you, I don't want to get too political on you, because sure. I know you're not here to talk politics, but what does it say about the fact that the workers want our Congress um, to have a better handle on people that we know are very well funded and might very well be giving a lot of money to that Congress? Well, I mean, you've, you've always had that problem. I mean, that's just that's just part of the nature of politics. Boeing's a big money. company with a lot Boeing of Boeing is a big so, company. Is it, congressman it, from but this, Oregon or Washington, am I going to go after them? Well, this this is this is not just a, a Boeing issue, though. This is the airlines. This is everybody because you know the A four A, which is the Airlines for America, uh, which represents the airlines. They're coming out against this, as well as the association representing the maintenance uh, maintenance facilities. Uh, uh -huh. That's they're coming out against this. But quite frankly, I don't think they have much of an argument. They're saying that this is going to kill. Them. American jobs, and this is going to be hard for uh, American companies to compete and so forth. I, I, I cry foul on that. That's not really true. What but could be more important than safety? Exactly. I mean, so so don't don't come crying to me about oh we're not making enough millions and millions of dollars on this because we, we you're you're you're, uh, what, you're you're we're taking these planes out of the country and now you want to look over our shoulder? Come on. Yes, of course I want to look over your shoulder. Make sure that they're performing these things correctly and that these maintenance people are educated and trained properly. To be fair, the the argument that they're making is more about the hubs around the world, American right. Airlines, uh, you know, yeah. uh, for example, or any other airline is arguing, or the people who work there are arguing, when a plane has to make a stop in those places, we want to make sure that the right scheduled maintenance is done just as it's required to be done here in the United States, Absolutely. at airports here in the United States. And they say that's not happening right that's now. That's exactly what they're saying. They're saying that there, there's a lot of question about that. There's no there's no standardized system, and there's no oversight by the FAA, proper oversight by the FAA, to make sure that those those planes are being maintained and, 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 uh, and, and, and fixed and repaired properly. And that is dangerous. Of I mean, I would imagine, dangerous. I mean, if they Of course they it's dangerous. I mean, yeah. and, and, you know, and, and, I mean, do you want to put your family members on, on no. a plane that, that that's been uh, repaired by some guy or, or, or a woman or out in, in the hinterlands that didn't that have to heed to the same did not have yeah. to heed to the standards and also may not have the same kind of uh, skills and so forth. I'll give you an example. You're from Florida. Mm -hmm. You remember this, the, uh, the 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 value jet plane that crashed in the Covered Everglades. I, I was there too. Yeah. I was involved in that accident. I had two friends on that plane. Right. Um, but that plane crashed because now that was an American facility, but. The, 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 one, of the, one of the things about this bill is that they're saying that there has to be uh, there has to be technical understanding and knowledge of English and uh, and mm. training and so forth. There, there was an English and a language problem with that that playing uh, that with the uh, oxygen generators in Florida because they, they didn't understand what it meant by expired. They it, it, but they really? thought they, they thought they meant expired that the canisters were expired that they were no longer good. What it really meant was the the can canisters. Uh, 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 good dates, th their life dates had expired, but they were still hot, and, and would, and that's why they went off, and they caused the, the plane exactly. to fire. Yeah, and, and for so, those of you who don't know, it went off in midair. Uh, the right. pilot wasn't able to handle it. No. And it crashed in the Florida Everglades, and most everybody. But died. so, that, so that, that right there shows you why this this is very important, you know, to have these kinds of standards. Now that was in the U.S. Now the U.S. took care of. We clean shop here in the U.S. Now we need to make sure that that's being taken care of globally. Should I, one of the things I always worry about, and I, I tend to do this show for the little guy, right? I'm always trying to think of people who fly, people who are fathers and mothers. And sure. I'm always thinking that, uh, how, at what point do we not trust these companies that are 
so big. Right. You know, I'm pointing at Boeing right now. Right. I know it's screwed up a million times. I have a feeling they're not going to get called on the things they need to get called on because they have so much money that they can, I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it, buy people off, buy off agencies. I'm not saying NTSB, but I'm certainly saying perhaps people who are in the Senate or in Congress. I don't think that they're, I, don't, I wouldn't call it necessarily buying them off, but, but what I would say is they put a tremendous amount of pressure. They put a lot of pressure on influence. them. Influ, influence on them in, as far as, uh, remember, FAA does not have as many uh, inspectors as it does, and it relies on the Boeing and other manufacturers for them to self-regulate and to, to self-report because the FAA just does not have the means and, and the capability mm -hmm. to, to be there and, and, and to have someone at every one of these facilities and, and to watch them like they, they were. And they, they just aren't provided the money for that. And, and so, you know, they're, they're, they're still waiting for, we're still waiting, for, it's very, very important for for uh, the oversight to be given and more money to be given to FAA for these. Facilities. And we also have an administration led by a president who's way more beholden to his fellow billionaires and friends in the business community than he is to you or me or my mom and dad or your family. Well, that's true. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I don't... kind of keep an eye on that. I, I mean, he, he, he talks to the Boeing president and CEO on the phone a couple times a week. I mean, yeah, but I, but, 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 I mean, I mean and listen, I'm not going to... I, 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 I know. We're, I, I'm but, not going to no, go down to political no, right no, 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 I don't mind doing a political thing. But, but in, in, in fairness, I think that, that Boeing does... Uh, and the president has called out Boeing on some things. And, the Boeing, and, and this administration. This administration has stood up and said, you know, we are not going to be rushing this MAX certification. Mm -hmm. We are not... They've, they've been going... That's the FAA. Like, the FAA. They, they've been doing a lot of pushback. The Secretary of Transportation. All these people work for the president. They say they are his voice piece. Uh, they're, they're his uh, voice piece. And so I, I do have to say that, okay. that they have been very, very good about that. It's a heck of a story, and I'm glad you're on it for us. Thanks sure. so much, Jamie Finch. Appreciate it.